Well, good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. The Jenna Fire Department is experiencing an increase in fire calls this month alone. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi spoke to the fire chief about safety precautions and has more. The Gina Fire Department has responded to over 40 calls this month alone. That's almost triple the amount of calls they receive on a daily basis. Normally for town of Gina, we run 10 to 15 calls a month. This month it's escalated. We've run close to 40 calls this month and majority of them have been wildfires. On August 14, Governor John Bell Edwards declared a state of emergency due to the multiple impacts of extreme heat affecting the state. But even then, Corley says they have already responded to their biggest fire under this bird ban in less than two weeks. Our biggest one was a little over 300 acres. We've had them caused by lightning strike. We've had a few people burning, but their fires have not gotten out. But we want to remind everybody it's still an active statewide burn ban right now. Even though Northeast Louisiana got some recent rain, Corley says it is still not enough. And the rain hits the ground, it runs off in the ditches before it can be soaked up. If you have a garden or flowers and they're dead right now, if you water them immediately, it'll take them a couple of days to come back. And it's the same thing with the grass. Even though it got watered last night, it'll be a few days before it gets, before it rejuvenates. Chief Corley encourages residents to be mindful of batteries and extension cords being out in the heat. When you plug the battery up to charge it, it heats up. Well, if it's 104 to 120 outside and you're doing it outside, that battery may be 150 to 175 degrees. Local fire chief was just riding down the road. He saw fire. He ran around there and come to find out the extension cord for the party jumpers set their grass on fire right up next to our house. And today, you know, you can look at the grass and tell it's dead, so we're right back in standby. Reporting in Gina, I'm Valerie Moravi for your Arklamas News Source. Well, if you're unsure how to track wildfires across Louisiana, according to the state police, you can use the Wildfire Aware site to follow those. And as well as other current statuses, the site tells the number of personnel at the location of the fire, the population nearby, how long the fire has been going, and how much the fire is contained. You can visit us at myarklamas.com for the link to that site. Well, Union County has seen record temperatures so far this year, and under the extreme heat, a newly issued burn ban. Union County Judge Mike Lofton officially declared a burn ban Monday. Any burning is prohibited this time. The judge claims that the area is so dry that the slightest spark can cause devastation. If they get somebody calls in on them, the fire department will go out or the forestry department will go out, make them put out the fire, and it's at their discretion then whether to write a ticket or not. It won't go off until we get a significant amount of rainfall. And at this point, it's going to take quite a bit to get us to a point we don't need it. Campfires or leaf burning and another reminder not to throw cigarettes out of your car window. Judge Lofton says under these dry conditions, it's important to call 911 immediately if you see a fire. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. As we go into this afternoon, we'll still see plenty of sunshine. A few clouds will be building up just down to our southeast and can't rule out the possibility of a few patchy showers and thunderstorms along the Mississippi River Valley down towards Jonesville and down towards Natchez down in that direction. Don't expect anything as far as any widespread showers and thunderstorms across the Arkansas really for this afternoon and even going into the evening as we will be mostly clear temperatures dropping down to the mid-60s. And as we go into tomorrow, we're going to see a lot more sunshine. We'll have a few passing clouds moving across the region as we go into tomorrow afternoon. And then as we go throughout the rest of the work week. Temperatures going to be warming up a little bit, but we'll still remain under a very dry air mass. The winds will generally stay out of the north. Blowing about 10 to 15 miles per hour does continue the fire threat for much of our area, so just be mindful of that as we still remain under a burn ban for the entire state of Louisiana and for parts of Arkansas as well. Today's expect on Dayton High of 93 degrees for this afternoon. Won't be as hot and also not as humid. Those rain chances of 10% stay generally down to our southeast. For tonight, we'll see a low of 68 degrees, mostly clear and warm as we'll see temperatures today around north about 5 10 miles per hour and for tomorrow we'll see high 95 degrees with more sunshine winds about out of the north 5 to 5 to 15 miles per hour and throughout the rest of the work week we'll stay mostly dry temperatures going to be warming up to the upper 90s with the return of more scattered showers and thunderstorms as we go into this weekend lows will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s be kind to each other and god bless you